Tonight we are following up on several popular food cart pods that shut down. Cartopia, Good Food Here, and North Station are just a few of those pods. They were forced to shut down for new development. But Coin6 has learned that a new refugee pod on 28th and Division may save some of those carts. Jessica Morkert is finding out more and she joins us now live with that. Jessica? Well, Kelly, we found out that this is the site of Tidbit Food Farm and Garden, a site that many food cart owners are hoping will be just as successful, successful as their current locations. However, many food cart owners, they're apprehensive, saying that moving just means losing business. It's pretty devastating, not just on a, on a business level, but on an emotional level, you know. I've grown really attached to not just the spot, but the community. For the past five years, Greg Abbott of Whiffy's Fried Pies has established his business at Cartopia. Well, we've found a niche in the market that we like. We like doing the sort of like late night. And so there are some other, you know, there are some other special things that we have to think about in order to do late night. The food carts on the corner of Southeast 12th and Hawthorne are among the first pods in Portland. But now I found out this parking lot is slated for possible apartments. To me, this was kind of like the first one, you know, so I have a real almost nostalgic feeling about it being um, being moved or having to change. Three food cart pods from southeast Portland to downtown on 6th and Columbia are being forced to move for a parking lot or new development. We found out some are already finding refuge here, a construction zone soon to be Tidbit Food Farm and Garden on Southeast Division and 28th, a promising restaurant scene. I'm stoked. I would love it. I mean, they're, key. they're putting in a bar in right next to over here, and I would love to see, you know, uh, something brings community together. I don't know. But for businesses like Abbott's, where location has meant everything, nothing is certain. I asked Mayor Charlie Hales, what should food cart owners do to protect themselves from being uprooted? like we've seen. You know, we're a dynamic city. We've got about 700 food carts now, and of course, almost all of them are leasing space in a parking lot or some other place where something else could probably happen. So the mayor does tell me that these new developments are private market transactions, and in some cases, it's just more lucrative to lease to apartments as opposed to food carts. He does tell me, however, that the city and the county are working to foster the growth of food carts in areas. This particular food cart station that you're looking at here, it is supposed to open in mid-August. Live in Southeast Portland, Jessica Morker, Coin6 News.